let us discuss about an important concept in public economics that is uh, debt sustainability countries incur debt by borrowing borrowing can enable countries to finance important development programs and projects but taken too far the burden of debt repayment can overwhelm a country's finances at worst leading to default a debt instrument is a financial claim that requires payment of interest principal or both by the debtor to the creditor at a future date countries incur debt to a wide range of creditors including private bond holders banks other countries and the official lending institutions and multilateral lenders such as world bank IMF, adp etc a country's public debt is considered sustainable if the government is able to meet all its current and future payment obligation without exceptional financial assistance or going into default and let's look at whether the policies needed to stabilize debt are feasible and consistent with maintaining growth potential or developmental progress when countries borrow from financial markets risk associated with refinancing are important too the sustainability of public debt can be assessed by using several methodologies a classic disposition by uc d doma in 1994 stated two necessary condition for public debt sustainability one is nominal gross domestic product that is gdp growth rate should be greater than the growth rate of public debt and the second condition is the real rate of interest should be lower than the real rate of growth the sufficient condition for such sustainability requires the generation of primary balance and primary revenue balance surpluses let us explain these two condition with the help of a mathematical equation let us denote the total debt irrespective of uh, internal or external by using a single term dt dt shows the overall debt position of a country is equal to bt plus 1 plus i into dt minus 1 where bt is the primary deficit or the current obligation plus 1 plus i into dt minus 1 shows all the past debt of the Uh, previous years up to the previous year that is dt minus 1 and the current overall debt position dt is equal to the current primary deficit plus the effect of overall past debt and the same equation can be rewritten as debt as a ratio the debt to gdp ratio terms as dt divided by yt where yt represent the gdp and debt divided by gdp equal to the dividing the entire uh, equation each uh, term on both uh, either side of the plus sign by using uh, yt and the past uh, debt terms by dividing its own uh, the rate of growth also 1 plus i 1 plus h according to dormer debt according to dormer debt will be sustainable if y or the gdp growth rate should be greater than the growth rate of public debt that shows the overall current economic position of the country that it sh- it should Uh, have a uh, huge growth rate potential compared to its uh, debt uh, rate that is dt and the real rate of interest the i should be lower than the real rate of growth that is h the two condition the first condition is that the rate of growth of debt should be always less than uh the rate of growth of gdp and the second condition is that the real rate of interest should be always less than the real rate of growth that is h noted that the uh, the numerator of the second term on the right hand side of the equation measure the indebtedness and the denominator is the measure of the repaying capacity of that country 
The Domer condition of sustainability says that H ought to be greater than I. That is, H shows the growth rate and the I shows the interest rate growth. Domer verily stated that worry about the growth of the economy and forget about debt. It implies that it is more related to the nation's capacity rather than the government's capacity to meet its obligation. Ideally, debt sustainability should mean both long-term solvency and short-term liquidity since the former is about government's ability to meet its long-term obligation and the latter is about having enough liquid asset to pay for maturing liability. Further, from the liquidity angle, interest payment to meet revenue expenditure is also a sustainability indicator. The government should therefore be able to adopt a physical stance that allows it to service its debt in the short term, medium term and long term.